yo. Welcome back to Ellen Dub. Hey, thank you for tuning in with us as always. Please make sure y'all hit that subscribe button, bang that bell, set the notifications to all. Check out the link to the Patreon if you guys can subscribe. We'd appreciate it. Hey, cold world. Cold world. Man, NC's finest. take y'all back, man. <laughs> hey, one of my favorite artists. So, uh, interesting to show how humble and dope this guy is. So, uh, backstory, he uh, just looking for something on YouTube and for motivational stuff and just happened to type in J. Cole beat and this guy Batman popped up with a beat. J. Cole made a song and gave it back to him to so release it. Nice. Procrastination. Broke. What do you call those things? Parentheses. Parentheses broke. <laughs> I almost said hashtag, but I know that was a <laughs> colon symbol. <laughs> Yo! Hey, yo, school! Hey, yo, school! My nigga, what's good? Just like off the beginning to be, it do sound like some shit that would be on his album. It does, yeah. Sound like this shit should be on like Forest Hill Drive or something. Yeah, because he's got those kind of like soul samples and just like mm -hmm. chopped up little parts of of beats and stuff. Yeah, for sure. Pop it. I'm coming through. Hold on, hold on, stay right there. I'm coming through. Hold up. Don't you dare run from it, there's no boogeyman It ain't coming to hurt you, I think acceptance is somewhat of a virtue To look your truth dead in the face without trying to escape the regret or disgrace I write these words aimlessly, but not without hope That somehow I'll stumble on something that's dope A clever little line, a thought to provoke Without hope, as I stumble around something that's dope mm -hmm. Don't you run from the boogeyman, eh? <laughs> run from it there's no boogeyman it ain't coming to hurt you i think acceptance is somewhat of a virtue to look your truth dead in the face without trying to escape the regret or disgrace i write these words aimless <laughs> <laughs> look <laughs> look regret in the face like yep. the, so that's the boogie so regret all that all that stuff that's the boogeyman it's not right. gonna hurt you look that shit in the face don't be mm -hmm. no regret uh, don't you dare run from it there's no boogeyman it ain't coming to hurt you i think acceptance is somewhat of a virtue to look your truth dead in the face without trying to escape the regret or disgrace i write these words aimlessly but not without hope that somehow i'll stumble on something that's dope a clever little line a thought to provoke myself and that listener digging for quotes hello don't even know if somebody gonna hear this Got so many songs they get lost in the endless folders of the hard drive I wish I was more fearless Cause I just say fuck it and dump all the music for niggas that hate it And niggas that use it as fuel to push them through long nights at school Writing that last minute paper for class that's due in the morning And I still relate to that procrastination for tasks hmm. mm -hmm. <laughs> Everybody procrastinates in their own way Whether it's doing work Yep Cleaning something. Errands. They have like, to run. Paying bills. <laughs> packing. Everything. And it don't matter what. Any and everything. Packing. Oh, let got to leave by a certain time. You wait till yep, the last till minute last to school minute. about that. Like. Yep. Editing videos. <laughs> <laughs> releasing We them. know about releasing them. We know about that. For sure. Procrastination. <laughs> it, it's just such a. You be just so busy. Like. It's not. Or we think we're busy. Yeah. I think that's that's most of the time what it is. And, and like, depending on what it is, too, it only take half a minute to do what you need to, to get do, there. yeah. But you can tell yourself, okay, I'm going to do it. Then, and then you like, dang, you missed it. I know I do that shit all the time. <laughs> everybody. Everybody does it, like you said. In some form or fashion, everybody procrastinates on something. Yeah, I got, I, I, I do. I know people who do. I know people who be having to go get on flights and they don't pack until like an hour before they got it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, like man. they procrastinate, like people procrastinate to the point where like you, you walking up the house, you may, if you get stuck in traffic, you gonna miss your flight. Yeah. If one little thing goes wrong, that's it. 
TSA, you like you <laughs> never know like what's gonna never happen, how know. crowded it's gonna be, nothing. Yep. Like I said, that's dope though. Like he said, you use this song just to get motivated. Like you know, let me stop bullshitting as much. Yeah. Yep. For music for niggas that hate it and niggas that use it as fuel to push them through long nights at school writing that last minute paper for class that's due in the morning and i still relate to that procrastination for tasks because i need to finish this album but hell how many more times can i sit in this wooden pail down in that well and pull it back up with the hope that it's filled plus it don't help that i'm mm. album coming soon yeah <laughs> you never know he said sitting there at the well with pulling it yeah. Yeah. I don't know how he said it. Yeah. But if you know it well, you know, got that bucket go yeah. all the way down. But then just hope, hopefully it's filled when it comes back up. But hell, how many more times can I sit in this wooden pail down in that well and pull it back up with the hope that it's filled? Plus, it don't help that I'm rich now, so that means that I don't got to deal with stress of these creditors calling my cellular like that young rapper that don't got a deal. But you got the skill and you got the will to make it no matter how long that it takes for labels to see or a song that are breaking the rest of the world to catch on that he's great. Uh, how do you tap? Yeah. How long do you got to wait to see the, the rest of the world catch on? To know hey. that you're great. Like my boy Marcus Clay and Nev and all them stuff. Like, hey. Yep. They ain't got a big following right now, but, but man, they're, they're out there and they're still doing. And it's and, and it's wait. much more artists just like them. Oh yeah, oh yeah, for sure. There's people out there that are probably struggling years and years and years and right. can't get that traction to to be out there like the like the big names, you know. Mm -hmm. And like I said, he's fortunate enough to not having them creditors calling. You know. Yep. You know, and it's like it's he's speaking truths. Of course. He's and letting it, them know because he's he's a veteran to the game now. So he yeah. knows he's trying to put other people on. Like, don't wait. Just put that stuff out there. And I just like it well, too. Like he said, the, the whole because he's rich, he ain't got to worry about the curves. He ain't got to worry about this. It's also the progression of him, like, finishing the album. Yeah, exactly. Like, like I'm cool right now. I don't need to drop another one. But, yeah. but he knows if he's got things like this in his bag, just put it out there. Just release it. So yeah, it's just procrastination for him as well. Just not releasing stuff that. Yeah, the fact that he took the, the time, like once he found the beat, just to go start recording off of it and then yep. send it right back. It's just like he, reflecting back, like I've been procrastinating with a lot of stuff right now. He probably saying, "Shit, I probably should have been dropped the album." Yeah, but. exactly. But at least something he found something that inspired him, and that's what yeah. he's trying to get people on board with. Just be inspired by something and just do it. Just calling my cellular like that young rapper that don't got a deal But you got the skill and you got the will to make it No matter how long that it takes for labels to see Or a song that are breaking the rest of the world to catch on that he's great uh, How do you tap in the hunger when you don't got wonder about where your next meal is coming from Maybe you feel my conundrum Or maybe the real is I'm so um Far removed from the struggles of everyday folks My shit just ain't never gonna hit like it hit when a nigga was a little more closer to broke Broke mm. But when you humble, it's people respecting all that stuff. That's why they say when it come to him and K, K Dot, it's just mm -hmm. like they ain't never really let the fan get to them. They don't. Yeah. They not flashy. The, they yep. just exactly. They're just themselves. That's it. Walking around in sweats and t-shirts and stuff, and just being who they are because that is who they are. They yeah. Let it change them. The real is I'm so um far removed from the struggles of everyday folks. My shit just ain't never gonna hit like it hit when a nigga was a little more closer to broke. broke. A little more uh, closer to broke. Fuck it, the challenge be having me stoked. Throwing the talent, you gotta be joking. I push my salary up with these quotes. quotes. Now. I push the Lambo truck down in the veil, hoping I connect with something that's real. Part of me wonders why I'm even still. Still. Uh. Holding on to this place, my mama been gone and my partners are straight, right? Right. I wonder what place he's talking about. My mama been gone, partners. They moved. Probably his old house. Probably, most likely where he grew up, right? Yeah, because I know, the, like I said, the Forest Hill that was shot on his like that picture on was his house. Yeah. Yep. Hey man. He's raising his price too by with these quotes. Yep. Know your worth. Still, still, still. 
uh, holding on to this place. My mama been gone and my partners are straight, right? Right. Sounds so soulful, don't you agree? <laughs> don't you agree? That was a that was a dope beat. Yeah. Laid back, chill. Again, it had that kind of soulful vibe. I can hear different I don't know if you chopped up a sample. I doubt it. Because usually okay. people who put music on YouTube, you know, if you chop up a sample, you're gonna owe money. Okay. Something like that. But it sounds like that. Um I know you've heard the song before. And it's just slipping my mind right now. <laughs> It's an oldie. I know that DMX song slipping. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's not the one, but <laughs> um, damn, how come I can't think of it? It's like it's the one where he's talking about. Sounds kind of like a carnival type of thing. Where he's talking about um, heartbreak. Damn, sideshow. Let the side show begin. You never heard that song before? <laughs> Damn. <laughs> it's got a very similar beat because you can hear like the... <laughs> I, I'm gonna you know me. Again. You know me. But no, there. it sounds like that. And it also sounds like Delphonics as well. Like he took either inspiration from it or he kind of like uh, flipped the, the the instruments a little bit. He started saying Carnival. I'm over here uh, thinking of uh, Royce with Bob, Bob of the Blow. Bob, <laughs> Bob of the Blow? And Outcast Bombs on the Oh, yeah. Bombs the whole the <laughs> not, not. <laughs> not quite, not quite. But either way, all the way like, off. I like the beat. Oh I like yeah, the beat. Hey, are you speaking some real, real facts? It's always on that mug. Of course, can't knock that. No. Hey man, Cold World via Batman. Shout out Batman. Shout out. Uh, YouTube producer. I guess they like I said. They say he been doing it for a minute. I don't know. You know how far. Uh, Long he been it, but hey man, shout out much respect that you know what I'm saying you got a legend. Yeah. You inspired a legend, you know what I'm saying? Like and that also goes to show too, like everybody can be inspired by anybody. Yeah. No matter the status. Exactly. So like, you know what I'm saying? Like to me, I take this to where it's like, stop looking down on people. Like mm -hmm. just because you may be financially better than a person, don't mean you that person can't drop some gems, drop some right. jewels, or, or inspire you to change or do things better, and vice versa. Like you know what I'm saying? Like, don't be afraid to help someone, mm -hmm. inspire someone. Yeah, and don't be afraid if you're an up and coming producer, artist, whatever it is. Don't be afraid to reach out to the big dudes and be like, "Hey, I've got this." You know what I mean? Just hey, even, throw it out there. Even. Up and coming and whatever job, what are you working? Like, don't be afraid to talk to the people that's been there before you. Mm -hmm. Learn, get some game from the like. Hey, learn from the OGs. Get some game. Like, everybody got something that can help somebody with something. Yeah, you don't know everything. Right. You can you can gain knowledge from somebody who's twenty years younger than you. That puts you up on it. Just be open to it and just yeah. kind of. You know, put yourself out there. Open mind. Know. Have yeah. an open mind. And then, like Always. I said, you, when you start getting game, because, you know what I'm saying, stuff is different from different people. So you mm -hmm. you don't, just because they tell you certain things, I mean, you have to apply everything. But you can, right. take, you can take little snippets of everything, and, and then you form your own way. That's how hey, you do it. Everybody been inspired, especially, like, think about this. Everybody who plays sports. Af You've been inspired. In any field that you go in, for the most part, you've been inspired by somebody who's done it before you. Right. Because those are the people that make you want to do it as well sometimes. When you're a child, you see a firefighter. You've seen this. You got inspired. Like, right. you seen a police officer, a, a medic, or a goddamn weatherman. Um, <laughs> anything. Like, like anything. Like, really, like you've seen it. it. You just didn't just wake up, grow up, and not never see the field possession, the field 
possession. Uh, <laughs> position. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> that <laughs> profession. Profession. The profession, and just be like with no prior right. knowledge of it. Just like, I'm just gonna go in here. No, the hell you didn't. <laughs> it may be like some slim things, but hey, for the most part, you know what I'm saying. Hey, always look for inspiration every day. Yep, always. And no matter what it can be. But, hey, man, like I said, that was J. Cole, procrastination, parentheses, broke, broke. <laughs> <laughs> via Batman, the producer. Um, shit was fire, beat and lyrics. Yep. But, hey, let us know what y'all think down below. Let us know your procrastinations. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What are you procrastinating on right now? Hey, <laughs> hitting that subscribe button? Nah. I hope not. <laughs> I hope not, man. <laughs> Turning the bell on? I hope Click not. It. Click it. Signing up for that Patreon? I, I hope, hope not. This, uh, uh, Don't do it. This, uh, so, God damn, <laughs> I'm procrastinating getting it out. The, uh, the YouTube membership, hey, yep. following us on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, all that. Yes. Yeah, man, come on now. Hey, <laughs> he said hit the Patreon. The link's somewhere down there, around and around. It's on, <laughs> it's on the page. You'll find it. It should be like a YouTube membership button coming soon, floating around somewhere. You'll find it. But nah, until next time, we out. <laughs>